One more push, eh? Be great to see the whole thing for the first time. Yeah, I suppose. Come on, Matt, it's gonna be a great show whether Liam Boyd's there or not. I did try, didn't I? Yeah, I know. Just, he's such a massive figure in theatre land, you know? So much for him wanting to catch amateur productions. Well, it's his lookout if he passes up on the next Billy Elliot or Stephen Sondheim. something girls we need a holiday get away for a bit yeah where you ever been skiing you'll love it morning don't tell me you've forgotten uh, no we're pitching Rochdale Business and Enterprise Centre Rockbeck to the DFES which is why I mark my bed an hour earlier than normal we could have put a tie on or something oh well if that's what's gonna swing it maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all Thanks, love. Uh, supper's in there. Oh, I'm gonna be a bit late. I'm afraid, thanks to that flaming musical. It might be fun. I've always loved a musical. Maybe one day when I'm feeling better. Yeah. Look, you know what the GP said? You need professional help. That means getting up. The musical. Come, I'll take you there. Yeah? I'm not ready, Grantley. Yeah, well, you're not missing much. I expect. I mean, I'm only going because I have to. I'm sorry, love. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, don't you worry yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, shall we um, have a go at this presentation? Hey, where's your stuff? Oh, come on. Calm down. I know what I'm going to say. I want it to come out naturally, you know, as if I mean it. Well, I've added a bit to my section. Vocational learning entitlement for all pupils. Um, take it you haven't spoken to your ex-wife yet. <sighs> Shouldn't you? <sighs> haven't I said enough about that? Look, are you worried about this presentation or not? I just wanted to say, I think Mr. Larson did me a favour by booting me off a musical. To be honest, I'm relieved. Mika's welcome to the part. Well, I hope you've learnt your lesson. Oh, so we'd like to write a review of the show for the school paper. Mm. Hope there'll be no sour grapes. Of course not. It'll be our honest opinion. So we should not tell Mason how to do this musical. The last thing I want is seeing slushy love songs into brass in his face. Try and pretend he's Orlando Bloom. Mm. I wish. Screw me. Oof, what next? Armageddon the musical. Bradley? Mm. Sorry, mate, it's paying up time. What? Look, the 500 quid. Oh, yeah, um, just waiting for a cheque to go in. I need the cash, Bradley. Well, I'll have to go to the bank after school. I don't carry that amount of money around with me. How about I give you a lift at lunchtime? I don't need a lift. And I'll make sure that you are repaid in full, all right? Mika, Mika, you come. You okay? What with him there? Come on, Mika. We're going to give you another go at suddenly last summer before the technical rehearsal. Give it a little bit more welly, okay? Someone's standing on your foot, Mika. Mika, can I have a word? Mika, I know what you're gonna say. I'm not trying hard enough. 
Well, can you deny it? No, because I don't want to try. I only came back because Miss Mason taught me into it. The trouble is, you've said you would, so now the whole school's relying on you. You don't know the pressure. I made up with Chloe because I've got no choice. But I'll never make up with Brat. It'll take an actress of real talent to pull it off. Look, Mika, I know you've had a hard time, but you can't let a lecherous little sod like Brett Aspinall stand in the way of your career. Career? It's only a stupid school musical. Aha. Uh -huh. But that's where you're wrong. There is no knowing where this might lead. There's a top director coming from Manchester. Mr Wilding's part friend knows him and he's almost definitely going to turn up. The point is, he's looking for talent. So who do you want him to spot, eh? You or that little show-off Brett? Yeah, great. Look, Chloe, the last thing me and Dante want is for you to feel, you know, not like we're rubbing your nose in it. Of course not. We're there for you, yeah? And there's no way we're not going to be mates, is there? I'm happy for you, honest. I just need to know, though. Is he, like, still angry with me? Only he's been a bit distant. Maybe he was. But he's over it now. You need to think about yourself. Look for someone else. I suppose you've been looking around. Yeah. Because Watley Road's got loads of talent. Okay, come on, everyone. La 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 la. Come on. So, if you're charge of props, you have to make sure that they're put back after every scene, especially at the beginning. If there's any changes, let the cast know. Are you writing this down? Warm up your mouth now. Mwah. Mwah. That's it. Mwah. Mwah. Silly. Good. Where's Miss Haydock? The technical Mwah. rehearsal should have started 11 Mwah. minutes ago. It's okay, Mwah. Carla. Mwah. Miss Haydock's just running a bit late. Mwah. You just do everything the same as before, okay? Mr. Clarkson's got special eyes for you. Now, actually, I think Mr. Clarkson is just a bit of a show off. Mr. Wilding, I think you'll find that our leading lady is up for the challenge. Thank you. Right, let's get cracking. You don't know how much this will mean to the children of this school, so we're begging you to consider... Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. Begging? You're trying to make us look like a couple of pillocks? Nothing wrong with a bit of sucking up, if it works. No, but there is such a thing as trying too hard. Begging. What the hell do you think you're playing at? I'm just setting up refreshments for Miss Mason's guests. Uh, well, I'm sure Miss Mason would uh, rather I dealt with the alcoholic beverages. Yeah, we'll save some for the VIPs. Beg your pardon? Well, you don't get a red nose like that through drinking pop, mate. I am in no way and never will be your mate. Seven. Oh dear, this one's been tampered with already. Hmm. Ew. It's corked. Corked? Oh, you wouldn't understand. I'm going to put this one aside. Don't want to go poisoning our guests, do we? <laughs> Lewis, um... Do you know how much that's worth? About 25p. <laughs> well over a hundred pounds. But it's yours for 50. And I want that piece of crap. Sell it. eBay. You put it on eBay if you're that desperate. Do you mind? I've got work to do. I really need you to sing out and go for it in this rehearsal, okay? Just so the sound guys can get a good sense of the level. 
Make sure you speak up for your dialogue as well. Don't let it flag. If you need a line, Mika, you especially, just say prompt. Carla's on the book and she'll feed you a line, okay? Let's treat this like the real thing. If anything goes wrong, just keep going. We'll make a note of it and we'll talk it through at the end, okay? Just remember where your props are before we begin, please. Okay, folks. Starting positions. Thanks, yeah. I'm not doing this for you, am I? Sorry, I had to nip out for something. Hello. Oh, it's a one-off, okay. Then I appreciate it when you come here. Can you just have something, please? <laughs> Rachel, uh, your guests are here. Oh, thanks. Ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Hello, Oliver Little from the DFES. Eddie Lawson, Deputy Head. And we all know Nigel, our Chair of Governors. Shall we go through to the boardroom? I think you'll be impressed, Nigel. She's a cracking head teacher. I believe passionately that a business enterprise status would allow us to innovate in a way that would suit the pupils, the school, and the community. And with the added facility of a purpose built training centre, we envisage being able to provide vocational skills and equip the children with the tools for lifelong learning and the impact would be immediate no long-term promises that takes generations to pay off very impressive thank you we've already put in place a number of work experience initiatives and business startup exercises which have been embraced enthusiastically by both the pupils and the local community mr lawson there's someone here to see you Bridget, I thought I said absolutely no interruptions. Only it's your wife. Uh, excuse me. And um, as Eddie was saying... Enthusiasm from both peoples and the local community. Thank you, yes. That was it. <sighs> Say hello to your dad. Oh, yeah, mate. Oh, come here. Oh, come Rachel here. Rachel said you miss him. I've had enough, Eddie. It's your problem now. This is stupid. Oh, look, you can't leave it here. Uh, we have set out some very specific... We've set a most... Oh, I'm really sorry. Could you just... Um, can you bear with me a minute? Why are you doing this now? She's left it with me. Um, listen, we've got to get on with our presentation. I'll get Jasmine to look after you. No way. I'm not even another stranger upsetting me even more. Eddie, did you hear me? We have got Rachel, to... Rachel, did you hear me? You have to present on your own. And if you want someone to blame for this, blame yourself. Come on. I don't know your presentation. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am really sorry about that. For now, would you mind awfully uh, retiring to our hospitality suite? It's just around the corner. It's uh, first or on the left. I will be following you very, very shortly. I promise. I know this is totally out of the ordinary. Thank you. Well, I can't muscle sort up of party food in five minutes, can I? Well, there's plenty of booze here, I suppose. I could cut up a few tubes of cheese, make a few sandwiches. Well, that's your what? Look, love, chances are he'll come back at closing time. And if he doesn't? Mika doesn't even want to be in the flipping show. But the whole thing's a pile of crap. They all get booed off. And we can slag them right in our reviews. For God's sakes, Leash, can't you just drop it? You oh, can't drop it, Daniel. Wasn't you practicing for weeks? All you got was dropped out of school council. Big deal. Well, it doesn't matter what you think now. Because it's happening without you. Well, I'm going to make sure it doesn't. And how are you going to do that? What if we steal Cal's prep book? Put all the pages in the wrong order. <laughs> Count me out. If anything has happened to our son because of you, I'll leave you, George Hepworth. I mean it. Q doorbell. Q doorbell. Um, 
Um, obviously, that, um, that little incident shouldn't have happened. Little incident. Your deputy head is in the middle of a family crisis, which he brought right into the centre of the school. Well, don't worry, because I, I'm, I'm going to be dealing with it. A bit late. Now it's happened. Unfortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate to say the least, but it's made me realise that uh, there's a much better way than a, a dry presentation to show you guys just what this school is capable of. And that is our um, business enterprise ethos in action. Um, some of you will be aware that it's uh, our end of term school musical this evening. But what you don't know is we have a matinee performance. Um, curtain up in less than two hours time. Hey. Now I'm going to just check with the, um, the musical director that, you know, everything's on the go. So, uh, um, and those, those sausage rolls and things, they're going to be out of the oven in time for the interval, Lewis? Yes. Great, thank you. I really appreciate you guys staying on for the show. Uh, our, our pupils and our staff have put 150% into this musical. Well, that's something at least. I'm looking forward to meeting the parents. Uh, school show is a good indication of a strong partnership with the community. Yeah, well, all I can say is you're in for a real treat. Watch where you're walking. Grantley. Grantley. Time to visit the bank, yeah? Don't you think I've got enough demands being made on me at the moment? I don't understand. No. Nobody bloody understands, do they? Uh, maybe if you stayed sober for a week, you'd be able to honour your debts. Right. Come on, then. Where's your car? I'll honour my flaming debts. Grantley! Chorus, I want you to sing right to the back of the room, OK? And make sure you don't let your accent slip. You know, your deepest Rochdale. Really want to emphasise the gulf between you and Brett. No problem there, then. Yeah, fab. Bert, I am really, really sorry, but we're going to have to put on a matinee performance this afternoon. Joke, yeah? No, no joke. Look at the time. We can't put performance on this afternoon. They're not ready. It's an emergency. We've got a room full of VIPs waiting to be entertained. I don't care. We haven't even done our dress rehearsal. Well, I totally understand, but needs must. It's got to go on. In fact, you've got about two hours, max. This is mad. You want a full performance in front of, what, a dozen people? And, and that's where Steph can help, because you can do a trawl of the, of the local area. What, in these heels? You can cope. Jasmine, you, you come too. Right, everyone, time to get into costume. Next performance is in front of an audience. Steph, phone the local community centre. Old folks home, um, get round to the local pubs if you have to. Take Maxine and Janice with you. Get them to round the mates up. Tell them there's a free concert happening, loads of refreshments, stress loads of. What, of booze? Yeah, I guess so. I'll pay you out of petty cash. Jasmine, I need you to pull out all the stops, entertain our VIPs just until we're up and running, yeah? I don't mind if you have to sing a song. But I can't sing. Well, dance then. What, and you off to have a nice lunch with your friends? Who, me? No, no, I'm in the middle of a custody battle. Alison. No, I, I just want to, I want to chat. something. I'm never going to let you out of my sight ever again. Okay. Do you like cars? I've got a four by four. It's like a big tractor. 
want to say it. Over. Keep it, all right? Don't it? I don't want it. It just makes me sad. Take it, yeah? No, I always thought that you're supposed to keep the rings till after the divorce. There's no point. Right? I'll keep it somewhere safe. Dante, you coming out what? Yeah. This had better be right. Oh, there's something wrong with the machine. I'm sorry, Tom. One last chance. I'll be able to give you 250 and the rest tomorrow. Oh, would you believe it? Hi, Davina. What? Uh, when? Right, well, um, I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, okay. Bye. You brought the musical forward to this afternoon. Best not hung about. Let's get back to school. Oi, you don't get away with it that easy. Oh, I'll have to nip to the house, see what I've got in the home safe. The home safe. You wouldn't be going to the bookies by any chance, would you? Give it a rest, Tom. You'll get your money. And when we get to my place, wait in the car. Thank you. Thank you. OK, I've got about five minutes. Look, if you're here to plead Daddy's case, then... Well, I'm not interested in being a marriage counsellor. But from where I'm standing, it looks like you're using your little boy to get back at Eddie. What the hell makes you think you've got the right to an opinion? You've no idea what I've been through. Oh, well, I've got an inkling because Eddie told me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can just imagine his version of events. What I don't think you know is the hell he's been through, too. Yeah, it must be really tough. And the only thing you've got to worry about is when the next live football match is on. Uh, Eddie told me that you had a boyfriend. No. A few months of a screaming baby tests the most solid relationships. No, I was the one left with the nappies whilst I did his freedom. I don't have to play the field. Look, I just think that you two really need to sort this mess out. And right now I really need a deputy I can rely on. So please. Fleur love, it's only me. This morning. Is there something wrong, Grantley? No, no. Grantley. Grantley. Grantley, what's going on? Uh, it's only Tom from school, dear. No nothing to worry about. 
Nothing to worry about. You haven't got any furniture, mate. Or hasn't she noticed? She hasn't been downstairs for three weeks. All right. Well, what's wrong with her? Just explain to me how that is any of your business. You should have looked at me. All right, come on, it's time you weren't here. Oh, I just wish you'd said something before. You can't carry on living like this. Don't you tell me what I can and can't do, as if you are remotely interested. If you gave a monkey, she'd have asked me about Fleur well before this. I've had a few troubles of my own, haven't I? Oh, well, I suggest you get back to them and stop sticking your nose in where it isn't wanted. Grandma, you need help, you both do. You will get your money payday. That's a promise. Go on. Go on. <laughs> He's a cheeky get. Grantly, what was he saying about the furniture? Right, <laughs> let's get you settled. I don't understand. Yeah, and then I'm going to have to go. I don't want to give Frau Mason another stick to peep me with. You get torn into those cakes. Cheer yourself up. It's amazed me. I, I know I'm fairly new, but it's how Miss Mason has come in and got her hands dirty. It, it, she's got a real passion for uh, getting our kids ready for the world of work. And it's rubbing off on all of us. Oh, here. It, let me top you up there. <laughs> I'm Glaswegian. <laughs> An empty glass makes me go weak at the knees. <laughs> <laughs> Shackleton up there, boys. James, have you got all yours going on? Okay, right now, Becky. Becky, yeah? We're running in, we're running in. Where are you? Get there. Get there now. Okay, line there. Right. Turn. Remember, you've got the audience there. I okay? never want to see you again. Right. You've got my line before that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to get you back now, guys. I never want to see you again. Nearly. I never want to see you again. I'll do anything to get you back. Just forget it. Uh, yes! Got it! Where are we going? I should have asked you more. <laughs> yeah. Right now, now we're going fast and we're going to fly. I've take... just got to nip out for a second. So, what's this all about, Alison? Let's talk, Eddie. Starts in ten minutes, Eddie. I really need you there. She's some woman. Yeah. Second scariest woman in the world. <laughs> None of this should have happened. I want to explain why. Only, it's going to take a lot longer than ten minutes. And one more thing, articulate, okay? There is no point in Miss Qureshi wasting her time with all the words and lyrics if no one can hear them. Yes, but the main thing is, enjoy yourselves, everybody. This is it, this is crunch time. Uh, Mika, I, I know you've had very little time, okay? But scene four, you've got to know your cue. I know. What do you think I'm doing? Well, if you can't remember your lines, just write them on your hands or something. Good. Great. And after that, if you forget again, then just ask Carla. You all right with that, Carla? I'll tell you what. We are going to make Waterloo Road proud! Come on! Look, the audience won't be made up of regular theatre-goers. And what does that mean? Don't panic, Matt. Everything will be fine. Hang on. Where's Tom? Hello. 
Yes. Can I order a taxi, please? So it's done. You better let Rachel know we're going to be late getting started. I'll break the news to Andrew Lloyd Webber. Sorry. Where have you been? Don't ask. You must have some excuse. I was at Grantley's. His house is completely empty. No furniture. And his wife's bed bound. Apparently she hasn't been downstairs for weeks. Well, why not? I don't know. I mean, scared or nervous or something. What's scared of him? I don't think so. I mean, he seemed really upset about it. I don't know, you know. I've seen the bully in him. Why don't you, um, go and arrest him? You'll lie. Lovely. Right. Is everyone ready? Is everybody ready? Matt, calm down. I've got this feeling everything's going to go wrong. Everything's not going wrong, everything's going right. We've got our leading lady, we've got our leading man. So stop panicking. It's a good turnout. Yeah, not bad for a school with no track record in the performing arts. As you can see, we are up against it. Still, you've managed to get the uh, bums on seats. Yeah. Are you coming or not, love? <sighs> Look, missus, I ain't got all day. Sorry. Still no answer from his mobile. Oh, no. Should we call the police? Look, love, chances are he'll come back at closing time. And if he doesn't? If anything's happened to our son, if you've put him in any danger, I leave you, George Hepworth. I mean it. Yes, I leave you, and I'll go and live somewhere else. <laughs> far, far away from this house, a 
I'm far away from this garden. <laughs> With whom? Cast of Animal Farm, by the sounds of it. <laughs> can you give a cow an asbo? You can give a donkey an aspo, I suppose. He's <laughs> making up, Miss Shackleton. I, I imagine you'd suggest I keep him on a tighter rein, officer, wouldn't you? <laughs> right, young man. I don't want to see you again. I'll bid you good night then. Well, what have you got to say for yourself, Jamie? I've got to say for myself that I love Shannon and she loves me, and nothing you can do is going to stop us getting together. Your father only wants the best for you, Jamie. It's only because we love you. stitches today. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't laughed so much for a long time. Me neither. It's been great, you know. What do you think of this? Even though Mika Granger tried her best, it was obvious that her voice didn't match the syrupy lyrics of Wilding songs. The show suffered from amateur lapses, and the comical cock-up by continuity girl Carla Bentham had the audience in stitches. They must have been in different shows. What the production lacked in, singing talent, it made up for in the unsuppressed naffiness of Miss Haydock's choreographer. Just want to think about that. <laughs> I had so much fun in ages. What did you think, little fella? He's so like you. <laughs> Listen, I better go. I've got some schmoozing to do. I can't believe you're a deputy head teacher. I said ding dong. Yeah. And you were right, Carla. You're all laughing me with you, not at you. You can only laugh with someone if they're laughing too. And I can assure you, I wasn't laughing. Then maybe you should. The crowd are loving it out there. They're a brilliant audience. Jasmine wrote a drama, not a comedy. I meant to be trying and keep the integrity of the piece here. I know Mr. Clarkson was only trying to help. But how many times have I told you if something goes wrong, you keep going? Sorry, Matt. Ma if we can't take ourselves seriously, then how can we expect the audience Matt. to... What? The doorbell mood. <laughs> I said ding dong, but no one would listen. Well, it's okay. Go away! Oh, great. Yeah, that's all I need. Carla! <laughs> Manners? <laughs> she went that way, miss. Thanks, Alicia. You're so pathetic, Alicia. It's all Carla's fault. If it weren't for her, I'd be up there getting all laughs and applause. If you'd like to make your way to the canteen, there's teas and coffees. Get in there. Matt, you're sabotaging your own production. This used to be about the kids, it's not about you. Now stay here and we'll come and get you when it's over. Yeah, that was a funny bit, yeah. 
It's not bad, is it? Yeah, seems like they're all having a good time out there, and to be honest, so am I. It's very dramatic. A little like your own altercation earlier. That's all sorted. Congratulations, everyone. The kids did you really proud. Alicia, it's Carla's diary. They make me smile in the morning because they're always laughing even when it's raining. Danielle was laughing today so much. I think someone told her a funny joke. It made me happy. If I could be anyone in the world, it would be Alicia. She's so beautiful and sings even more beautifully. I feel so evil. Have you seen Carla? Look, if you two know where she is, you better tell me. I don't know, honest. We'll help you look for her, though. Okay, thanks. It's never gonna happen, Jamie. How am I supposed to go out with someone that talks like Prince Charles? <laughs> is that what you care about? What people think? Well, there's your posh mates and all. One of them said I talk like a toilet cleaner. Well, my posh mates can sod off if it gets in the way of us. Well, next time you want to impress me or something, just take me out for a pizza. Do you mean that? You wouldn't mind going out with a loser? I wouldn't be the first. I'd like to be the last. I wish I could forget you. Boy, you know I've tried. But every time I hear your name, I start burning up inside. No matter what I try to do. Yeah, yeah, I've just been nervous. Rachel, I'll never be able to repay you for what you've done. It's not just seeing Michael again. I think me and Alison are ready to talk to him. She definitely came this way. Well, maybe she's gone home. On her own. Are you... Are you all right, babes? Come on, everyone's worried about you. It was the wrong words. It's not your fault, Carl. Go get Shackleton. Yeah. Come on, Carla. I'm sorry, okay? See? It's all right. You with your mates. Too bad, we gotta face it. I wish I understood. How you messing with my mind could make me feel so good. I guess if love is here to stay, we're never gonna get away. Why does it have to be your the You do, yeah. And how can I walk away when the deal is done? From the moment we first met, our destiny was set. And now there's nowhere left to run. You are the only one. The only one. Right, love. It's all right. 
Come on, nice and steady. Take deep breaths. Count four in between each one. Please, I'm fine. It was just the heat. Thanks, girls. Always get water in an emergency. Thank you. Do you think I should call an ambulance? No, no. I, I've come to see the musical. It's just that I'm not used to going out these days. People and crowds makes it harder to breathe. It'll pass. Girls, will you go back inside with Carla? And thanks. Look, are you sure it's a good idea to go in? I mean, if you're not good with crowds, it might... It's what I've come for. It's important. Maybe, maybe I could go in with you. Yeah. It'd be a pleasure, um, Mrs. Flair love, Flair budget. And when you feel like all that pressure's coming down on you, there's no use stressing on your own. Just remember it's the same thing we're all going through. You don't ever have to walk. Audience are waiting for you. <laughs> what a triumph for Waterloo Road's brand new music and drama department, and I hope one of many enterprising productions. So let's hear it for the creator and director of Parkside Story, Mr. Matt Wilding. Can I uh, let you in on a little secret? I was a bit uptight today. <laughs> I know, I hid it well. But <laughs> this group of people, cast and crew, pulled together today, really did me proud. You know, but more importantly, they, they did themselves proud. I'd like to thank the spectacular Steph Haydock. Oh. I'd of course like to thank Jasmine Qureshi for her penmanship. A couple of uh, extra special thank yous to Mika Granger for stepping in as Shannon at the very last minute. Stage wonder, keeping us on track in the face of adversity, Miss Carla Bentham. Come on, Carla! Grantley? Fleur? What are you doing here? Someone mentioned you might be here. No, I'm, I mean, what are you doing at the school? I needed to get out. You said so yourself. Grant me, love. What's happened to all our furniture? I've gambled it all away. 
That flat screen tally we got for your birthday. Everything. How much? Best part of five grand. And I still owe two. That's it. No more, I promise. It just got out of hand. Well, it got a grip before I knew it. Oh, I've let you down. Badly. No, you haven't. Look, I haven't been much help over these last few months. Being ill, all the strain I've put on you, it's me who should be saying I'm sorry. Don't be daft. <laughs> Look, we've got a couple of puffets out in the garage. We'll, we'll make do with them now. And there's that sale at that, you know, the place where they the are. The perpetual <laughs> sale. <laughs> Look, we'll use some of Aunt Hilda's money. I know you didn't get your hands on that. Not for want of trying, believe me. Oh, we're a right pair, the two of us, aren't we, eh? But we'll get through this. You were fantastic, Mika. Like, word perfect. Yeah. Thanks. You must have felt it up there on stage. I mean, I didn't imagine it, did I? I don't believe you. There's like a total electricity between us and you know it. It's called acting. Come on, Mika. I'd give anything to get back together with you. Just give me a break, yeah? I love you. What's the point in telling me that now? It's too late, isn't it? You want the truth. I love you too. Or I did. But I can't undo what you and Chloe did to me. And neither can you. So just... Just leave me alone to get over it, okay? Well, I was wrong about Grantley. Yeah. He obviously loves her. Lucky beggars. You enjoy yourself? I wish I heard more. It was grand. Needless to say, she doesn't get out much. Well, that's all going to change. So are a lot of things. Tom, uh, I'm just it. All right. Listen, uh, about the other matter. Hey, don't worry about it, mate. I'll bung the elderly on a credit card. At least they'll pay out, unlike the horses. Yeah, I will pay you back. Yeah, too right, you will. Otherwise, I'll have your knee capped. <laughs> hey, Grantley. Sort the gambling out, mate. Three big ones. Yeah. I was just saying, maybe we could meet up sometime for a drink as a function. Oh, I don't know about that. It's early days, but... We'll see what the doctor says. Whatever he says, I'm determined. Good night. See Good night. See ya. Foursome, eh? Mm -hmm. So does that mean we're a twosome? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Why would you like that? Maybe I would. Figures for bullying and Asperger's are horrendous. No, not here. I never tolerate bullying and neither will my staff. Good for you. Well, thank you for an entertaining and enlightening day. I thought Rockbeck at Waterloo Road had a promising future when I first read your application. Now, I'm sure it has. So we, Oliver, and you won't regret it. Thanks, Oliver. Thank you. Good to see you again, Nigel. Eddie. Thank hey, you. thanks for coming. Take care. Good to see you. Take care. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Bye bye.
And thank you, Eddie, and I really mean it. Ah, it's all good if we manage to pull it off. I just don't want to end up being a salesman instead of a teacher. Won't happen. Uh, better not. Congratulations, Rachel. You did it. <laughs> Listen, I better get off. I've got an ex-wife and a son to wine and dine, mm. thanks to you. never forget a face. And by the look on hers when she saw mine, neither does she. We're going Castle Ash for Nick, right? Yeah, sure. Well, Dad always reckoned Castle was the cushiest Nick of the lot. This is gonna be a breeze, man. Will your dad be there? No, he's been moved, innit? Safe. But you always said Castle was the place to be. It's a seriously easy stretch. I'm telling you, there's nothing that Mesa can show me in there. Nothing. 